All right, I'm going to do uh, the song Something by the Beatles in the uh, using the exact chords that are shown in this book. I'm going to play them um, just with a flow, kind of a free flow. Oops, do it exactly like the book. So I recommend just let them, don't start strumming it until you know the chords. Don't start grinding your way through it because that's, you're just going to sound horrible. You have to get the left hand or your fretting hand, now that's where all the notes are. So you have to know those shapes in order. Then maybe strum them and just make it a meditation, you know, like one, two, three, four don't play fast one two three four one make it ridiculously slow one two three four one two three four one two three four one just stretch it out go long here we go one two Three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Okay, get started on that, and uh, I'm going to make some more videos on the song. Maybe I'll put some strumming in, and I'll put some fills and more exciting. You know, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fill it out, but don't jump ahead until you know the chords in sequence and can play them in time and make them sound clear and relaxed if you start if you don't if you if you're sounding scabby on those chords and you try strumming it it's it's just going to sound terrible and you're going to be it's going to make you feel more tense 
If you do it my way, I think it's more relaxing. That's what I want you to do is meditate and float on these chords. And it might take a while, you know, if you don't know these chords, um, it's going to take some doing to get used to them all, but they're doable, they're playable. Yeah, I recommend getting this book, The Beatles Complete Chord Song Book. Mine is falling apart, as you can see, I've used it a lot. It's also a good place to put your coffee cup. Get that book. All right. Let me know what you think.